Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. Alright, welcome back to science class. Me, Bisha Fika. So today, before we start class, let us recite doa together. Okay. So, uh, last Monday, what have we learned? Energy. Okay, energy. Okay, okay today, turn on your camera. Okay, we learn about energy. Can you uh, give to me what uh, subtopic we learn about? I know about energy, but what are the um, form of energy? Source of energy. Okay, for, the source and forms source of, energy. of energy and forms of energy. And renewable. Yes, and renewable and non-renewable. Non okay, so before we move to new top new subtopic today let's recall again uh, about forms of energy can you see everyone can you see yes yes teacher i can see yeah. all right so um first energy is an ability to do work it can be need, uh, neither destroyed or nor created. And it can transform from one form of energy to another. Okay? So let's recall previous lesson on forms of energy. Wait, you're done. Come on. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about different forms of energy. Up first is mechanical energy. As this roller coaster moves up this hill, energy is used to overcome the force of gravity. You lose energy, but the roller coaster gains potential energy. At the top of the hill, the coaster has potential energy. As the coaster moves down the hill, it now has kinetic energy or energy of movement. So mechanical energy is the total of the potential energy plus the kinetic energy. Nuclear energy is energy stored in the nucleus of an atom. When large atoms such as uranium or plutonium are split into two smaller atoms, in a process called fission, energy is released. Nuclear power plants use this process to help create energy. Chemical energy is the energy of chemical reactions. Chemical energy of a chemical substance can be transformed to other forms of energy by a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction is one chemical substance is transformed into another. Examples of chemical energy include batteries, burning gas in a car, and fireworks. Light energy is the form of electromagnetic radiation, which means it has electric fields and magnetic fields vibrating back and forth very quickly as a wave. Visible light is the portion of this radiant energy that we can see. Examples of light energy include light bulbs, a fire, or a lamp. Sound energy is the form of energy that is associated with vibrations of matter. It is a type of wave, which means it needs an object to travel through, like air or water. When you play a guitar, the strings vibrate and cause waves to travel to your ear. And finally, electrical energy is the energy that is caused by moving electric ions. Since the electric charges are moving, this is a form of kinetic energy. The faster the electric charges are moving, the more electrical energy they carry. Electrical energy powers most of the appliances and gadgets in your house. So there we go, several different types of energy. Thanks for watching. And Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video. Okay, so here are several forms, several types, form, several types of energy. Okay, so this video explains detail. Uh, the differences between each energy. Okay. So, 
they are solar energy energy from the sun then this energy can be used to brighten the earth and provide heat as well as electricity okay we have heat energy which provide us warmth and causes object to become hot nuclear energy originates from nuclear such as uranium okay the energy is stored in nuclear all right chemical energy the energy is stored in food fossil fuels biomass and battery remember biomass uh, was a uh, biomass is originate originate uh, from living things like plants and like animal dung okay light energy you can obtain light energy from electrical energy solar or chemical energy all right potential energy okay uh, remember just now we watched about roller coaster roller coaster before going down okay it stopped when it stopped at the top okay at that time uh, the roller coaster is at high position so it obtained potential energy then when it go down goes down right so it's now called kinetic energy right kinetic energy is moving object okay uh, back to potential energy potential energy is not only object at high position being stretched or compressed also uh, has potential energy sound energy caused by vibration and sound need medium to travel like air like water okay and last one is electrical energy due to the flow of electrical charges okay electrical charges that move through wire are called electricity and electrical energy enables electrical appliances to function okay that's several uh, forms of energy okay now how fast actually have you ever wondered how fast actually energy moves so that you can turn on your laptop or ipad and join my class today okay let's watch this video to see how actually energy is moving this is tyler tyler with grammarly's help is writing an email to his boss anita closer look at how we move all our energy around and energy you use gets to you how electricity flows to you when was the last time you thought about how the energy you use gets to you how electricity flows to your tv or how natural gas gets to your stove so you can make your mac and cheese it may seem like it just does but the reality is we rely on a complex transportation network to get energy from where it's produced to where it's needed and that can be harder than it seems especially since there are multiple forms of energy demand varies and sometimes it's even challenging to get it to remote parts of the country so we have to get a little creative from power lines and pipelines to trains trucks and ships let's take a closer look at how we move all our energy around and what it takes to get it to people when and where they need it we'll start with electricity with a complex network of generation facilities transmission lines and related communication systems the electrical grid is technically the biggest machine humans have ever built sorry hadron collider once electricity is generated from hydro stations wind turbines solar panels natural gas and coal it needs to get to us when we flick on the lights power up a laptop turn on the washer or heat up a hot pocket you get it and sometimes that requires moving it over vast distances to do that sources of energy are connected to the grid where the electricity moves in large volumes through high voltage transmission towers and overhead power lines you've seen them enormous iron giants that crisscross through fields and along roads then the electricity is sent through smaller distribution lines to our homes and businesses that sounds pretty simple but because we generate electricity from many sources and need to transport it in multiple directions our grid is actually a pretty clever system of two-way transmission and communication it's smart and flexible and lets all the power plants substations meters and appliances monitor how much power is needed 
compared to how much is available or needs to be produced at any given time. Depending on demand and even weather conditions, the energy mix in the grid changes. For example, when the sun isn't shining, there's less solar added to the mix. So to meet demand spikes, we rely on the power stations where we can dial things up. Like electricity that needs to be moved, we need to move oil and natural gas, but through a different kind of grid. One made up of pipelines, terminals, trucks, trains, and ships. When oil and natural gas are extracted, they first travel to storage tanks and processing facilities through gathering pipelines, before they're transported over longer distances through larger transmission pipelines, powered by pumps and compressor stations dotted along their routes. These pipelines are like an energy superhighway. In Alberta alone, there are more than 422,000 kilometers of pipelines. Put end to end, that pipeline network would circle the earth more than 10 times. When natural gas gets to its destination, it's distributed via smaller pipelines to homes, businesses, and industrial facilities to run our furnaces, stoves, barbecues, machinery, equipment, and boilers. But natural gas can also be pressurized into a liquid form and moved by rail cars, transport trucks, and ships. Oil, on the other hand, is moved through pipelines to refineries, where it's made into gasoline, jet fuel, chemicals, and other petrochemical products. Some goes directly to refineries here in Canada, but a lot of it, more than 3 million barrels each day, goes via pipeline to the U.S. for refining. Trains and trucks are typically used to deliver refined products such as gasoline to product terminals near major markets. Petrochemical products derived from oil and natural gas are transported by rail, marine vessels, and trucks, where it is then used to manufacture a variety of things we use every day, like fertilizers, plastic products, household cleaners, paint, clothing, electronics, and more. And we can't forget coal. Once coal is mined, it's cleaned to remove dirt, rocks, and other unwanted materials. Using conveyors, trucks, and trams, Coal is moved from the mine and shipped primarily by rail, barge, and large ships for industrial, commercial, and consumer use. So the next time you reach for the TV remote, turn the lights on, fill up your car, or charge your laptop or cell phone, remember there is a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes 24-7 to not only produce that energy, but to actually get it to you when and where you need it. Okay, I like to highlight this part, eh? Okay, this one. EV remote. Turn the lights on. Fill up your car. Or charge your laptop or cell phone. Remember, there is a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes 24-7. To not only produce that energy, but to actually get it to you. When and where you need it. Okay, so this show to you. Actually, there are a lot of stuff behind the scene in order for us, lah, not only all for us, for everyone to get the energy. Uh, not including the food you get. How first the farmers plant, then harvest time, then how they process and how it transport to us consumer. Okay? So you, not you, us, okay, us, we need to use um, energy wisely okay let's move let's uh, continue this slide okay today the subtopic is transformation of energy okay, previously we already know the sources and the forms and now we want to know how actually energy transform from one and one type of energy to another type of energy okay energy can be transformed from one form to another but the amount of energy remains the same okay if the energy at first care uh, have 100 then carry to another and change uh, sorry transform to another form it still carry the same amount 100 okay but some of energies are lost as heat energy. Okay, like food you eat. Okay, food you eat, you consume from, let's say, from plant or from animal. Not 100% energy from that source will go to us. Okay, some 
uh, lost as a heat energy. Okay, let's take a look at this picture, number one. Okay, this look uh, familiar, is it? I bet my, some of their house, you can see the solar panel on their roof. Okay, so this solar panel actually trap the solar energy, trap merangkap, trap the solar energy, collect all the solar energy from sun. When we say solar, solar means the energy comes from sun, okay? So, the energy at the solar energy trap will transform. This one, uh, this arrow means transform, okay? Transform to electrical energy. And later, you can turn on your water heater. Next, we go to this one, this picture, moving car, a moving car, okay. <coughs> oh, not this one, it's not kinetic energy. Oh, sorry. The first one actually, okay, this is chemical, ah, my bad. Ah, okay, this is chemical energy. Teacher. Yes. Why does, suppose can car have sound energy? Can kalau laju-laju make loud noise? Sound energy? Huh. Ah, you can add lah sound, sound energy. Tepat, this is the basic one lah. Okay, so for moving car, moving car, uh, chemical energy. Chemical energy applies for a car that use fuel, uh, petrol or petrol as a fuel. Okay, so later the fuel will burn and release heat energy. This heat energy will move the uh, appliance lah. The, sorry, the parts inside the car, so that the car will move. And later when the car is moving. It transforms to kinetic energy. Remember, kinetic energy, moving object. All right. If, uh, what if the car is not used uh, petrol, but it use uh, electric energy? How? Ah. Uh, can, can someone try? Give me the answer. What if the car is using electric? Electric. How the transformation of energy? Then it will be to electric energy to heat energy to kinetic. Okay, electric energy then goes to heat energy. Yes, same. Only in front, the uh the this part, the chemical ni you substitute, you replace with electrical energy. Okay. Next, look here the roller coaster. Okay, so roller coaster. Roller coaster before it goes down the hill, it has potential energy. When it moves down, so it transforms to kinetic energy. Alright? So the same thing for an apple. An apple that goes down to the land. Okay? First, before it goes down to at, uh, if the apple is at the tree, at that time, the apple have potential energy. But later, when it goes down land, so it, it changes to kinetic energy. Okay, this is burning candle. Uh, start from chemical energy. Oh, so this is not electrical energy. No, hey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this one, no, no, heat energy, chemical energy, later it becomes heat energy. Heat plus uh, light energy. Yes, last one is light energy. I need to change this one. Chemical, chemical energy equal to heat and light energy. Okay. This one, heat, and later it change to light energy, okay? Sorry. And teacher, uh, teacher, it says, it says, uh, energy. What? And light energy. light energy. Doesn't it happen at the same time? What? 
There's not heat energy plus light energy, not arrow. Hey, he brought the heat. The okay. Uh -huh. heat energy and light energy does heat, the heat energy doesn't become light energy. They both happen together. I think this one we add from chemical is not start from heat. Actually light. Ah, uh, this one. Okay. This is the correct lah. Letter. It light up first, then letter will heat energy, heat energy. Teacher? Yes. But the book says hmm. it's heat energy plus light energy. The same thing. That's what my light plus heat energy. Same lah, like this. Uh, okay. You mean light, light and heat uh, happen at the same time. But how come the, uh, the candle, yes. after you burn the candle, the candle produce light, after that, then only comes heat energy. Okay, it's okay this one, I'll check again. But this, this is the process, the energy transform, okay? How the, how the transformation of energy, okay, don't worry. Still the same. Okay, food. Okay, food. Cycle is kind of exercise. So you eat food. Uh, the energy you gain from the food itself will use when you cycling. So you keep cycling and later the, the bicycle will move and it transform to kinetic energy. Okay, next. Okay, ah, five picture. Okay, quick check everyone. Who want to answer? Then you raise up your hand. Uh, name three sources of energy. Who want to answer me? Sources of energy. Me. 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 Okay, I can begin. Hmm. Number one. A. Number one. What? The, the sun, sun. Okay. food, and wind. The sun, wind. Sun. Another one, I can't hear. Sun, food, oh, and sun, wind. food, and wind. Okay, number two. Two A. Okay, state the energy transformation in the following appliance. Television. Silent. Okay, fine. Electrical energy. Okay. Light plus sound energy. Okay, good. Alright, who wants to try B? Windmill. Ah, uh, windmill. Who wants to try windmill? Don't want to try. You know what is windmill? Yeah. Yes, Give me the answer. Is it um wind and what? Okay, an object, moving object, moving object. The cat. What? What type? Ah, uh, what form of energy? Kinetic energy. Potential energy. Uh, oh. Kinetic. Potential. After that, Kinetic. after potential. Kinetic. Kinetic. Yes. Potential goes to kinetic. Then. Uh, heat. Oh. Heat. What? This windmill can generate what? Wind. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Hey. sources. Um, you actually can generate. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Up, up until kinetic energy only because we are not connected to another forms of energy. It's okay. All right. How okay, about electric drill? Ah, uh, electric drill. Yang you use to when you want to hang oh. your photo hat, the frame, the frame photo frame. Then you need to drill the wall using the drill. Okay. What kind? What? Uh, what kind of energy? Electric drill. Electrical. Okay. First, we we'll start with electrical energy. Then potential. Potential and then sound. <laughs> And I think oh, electrical energy. energy. Ah, electrical is not no. Okay, electrical potential. Electrical, electrical, uh, electrical energy. Then those sound energy. Kinetic and potential. Uh, wait, wait. Electrical, electrical energy. 
Yes, electric, electrical energy, kinetic energy, supposed to sound energy. What? Okay, okay. Pak ada apa yang what? Sound plus heat energy. Saya teringat dia elektrik je sebab dia elektrik je so so mesti elektrik energy tapi saya ingat kinetic energy. No lah, elektrik you turn on you turn on the switch of uh, press kan? So electric tak, lah. Tak, sebab dia kan ada battery. Oh, some of, okay. Ah, uh, it depends eh. Hey, this one mentioned already, electric drill, not the no. portable tu. No. Look here, electric drill. So, of course lah start from electrical. Electrical, oh. kinetic plus sound. Okay, can lah. Okay. Teacher, how about the heat? Energy, huh? Heat. 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 Yes, heat. Yes, heat as well. Last one is heat. Uh, okay. Sound plus heat. Yeah. Or... Sound plus. Yeah, it's moving because you drill. In. I forgot. You drill, then it move. So a letter, uh, it produce heat energy. Okay, so for electrical energy, ni. So starting from electric energy, then goes to kinetic energy. I want to draw. I want to use me this one. Okay, ha. Huh? Goes to kinetic energy. Sound energy plus. Plus heat energy. Okay lah. Plus heat energy eh. Okay. Because later when you use electrical energy for long time, it will produce uh, heat energy. Okay. So for this one, uh, this is me for, oh sorry. Okay, this one for windmill, windmill from windmill apa tadi? From Jewel is windmill. No, 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 no. windmill we discussed. Let uh, just now what? No, no, start from um, before kinetic. Not electric. It's not electric. Potential. Huh? Potential. 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 Eh? Potential. Eh? Oh. Okay. Potential energy. To kinetic energy. To kinetic. Yes. Kinetic energy. Yes. Okay. And television. Electrical energy. Okay, goes to light plus sound energy. Light. Okay, this one I need to check again. Eh? Light plus sound too. Okay. Okay, but the the energy transform is correct. Elect from electric energy to light and sound. Okay. The three sources of energy, uh, you say from the sun, from food, and food from and wind. <laughs> you can say as well from water, from what else? From, from nuclear, from biomass. Okay. Fossil fuel, battery. Uh, from fossil fossil fuel because what? Uh, fossil fuel. Coal. Natural gas. Ah, uh, they were. They have one category. The sources of energy. Okay. All right. Understand? 
about topic today transformation of energy when you want to answer yes. uh, the question kan you need to imagine first how the appliance or the object um operate then only you can state the energy transformation okay today we learn about uh, you state the energy transformation but next lesson next class you need to explain how the energy transform from from one form to another one form okay but for today you just only stay okay understand everyone understand yes, yes. understand do you understand Okay, so before you do your own exercise, let's recap uh, to this lesson about transformation of energy. Okay, energy can be transformed from transform from one form to another, but carry still carry the amount of energy same. Okay, carry the same amount of energy. Okay. But some of the energies are lost as heat energy. Okay, so this is example of energy transformation from solar energy trapped by solar panel on the roof. I'm sorry, on the roof, like that. Uh, put on the roof. Okay, then let it transform to electrical energy. And you can use electrical energy to turn on your water heater. Okay, second thing, a moving car uh, from chemical energy transform to heat energy and heat energy will move the parts inside the car and later it transform to kinetic energy. Okay, roller coaster from potential energy to kinetic energy. A uh, burning candle from chemical energy to light energy as well as heat energy. A uh, cycling, a moving bicycle from chemical energy stored in your from your food, and let it transform to kinetic energy, which causes by a moving bicycle. Okay, so that's it about transformation of energy. Any question? Anything you all you want to ask me? How about nuclear energy? Sound and nuclear energy. Nuclear energy. What you want to know the process? How nuclear produce energy? Yes. Of course I do. But okay, okay. That one I keep for next lesson, okay? You uh can you uh, repeat again about okay. what nuclear and nuclear energy nuclear energy okay yes later I show I try to find a video and show to you share with you how from uranium the unity and unit sorry uh nuclear it later uh becomes nuclear energy okay from the nuclear atom okay that process we call as a uh, fission. Uh, what is fission later? Later we talk more about the uranium fission. Okay. Alright, so if you have a question, you can leave to your own exercise now. Thank you.